We now uh, will move to uh, the last presentation uh, of this morning that will be done by Aki. I hope he can still speak. He had lost a part of his voice yesterday, pro pro probably after encouraging Orfevre. Uh, and uh, he will uh, uh, give you a sh very short summary of the racing and betting business forum and his uh, uh, usual annual presentation on the economic trends in betting and racing. Aki. Uh, if the distance of the pretty Arctron had been um, 10 meters shorter, <laughs> <laughs> we could have been turned over a new leaf in the Japanese racing industry. Uh, this is a, a message from the trainer of, of Fable to Mr. Bertrand Berange, Mr. Hubert Monza. We'll be back <laughs> again and again. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to like a report about the fifth racing and betting business forum, which was held last Friday in Paris. Around 150 people from 26 countries were attending there, and the forum became a one-day full event from this year. The main subject were how to innovate racing product to fit the market ex expectation, innovate on race courses and point of sales expectation. We are to innovate in coming years in terms of product and method. Generally speaking, the forum focused on more on how to attract new customers to racing how we could rebrand and repackage our racing, or how to utilize innovative IT technologies in order to reach wider audience. Mr. Philip German, president of the PMU, warned that we need to utilize innovative technologies to reach younger audience. Otherwise, our betting turnover would decrease by 2 to 3 percent every year. And we would get into a business cycle where less turnover and would lead to less prize money, which would lead to less number of races, then less horse production. And the cycle would go on. So I would like to take this opportunity to express my appreciation to Craig Frabel, Breeders' Cup. Andrew McDonald, Woodbine Entertainment, Paul Bitter, BHA, and Bilneda Hong Kong Jockey Club, who participated in a panel discussion. And also want to thank for those who attended the forum representing racing authorities. IFASIA has decided to focus more on regulatory matters, but racing itself could not be separated from wagering business and commercial activities. That is the reason the IFAG is um, sponsoring the forum and extended invitation to all those members who have interest in business activities of racing. All presentations and inf information about the forum will be posted online within a couple of days at the address shown on the screen. Thank you very much. <laughs>